I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm going to build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfall hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Good shooting, boys. All right, well, here we go again. Back in the afternoon program, I kind of burnt up all the combos that I had. Uh, and then Tyler's been on absolute fire. I mean, I went 40 40 Monday, he went 40 40 Tuesday, 40 40 Wednesday. Uh, what happened this morning here? We had one group shot 40 ducks and 15 geese, so Mel is two miles away from he here on one of my afternoon goose options and then i'm going in on a duck hunt we really thought tyler would get all of his ducks this morning and uh they just didn't come to that party you know he had a big snow goose spec hunt and they shot uh 29 29 of their darks so we 400 so we need three geese and they shot one duck so we got to shoot 31 ducks. So I stumbled onto this one late in the morning. Uh, I don't know, 1,000, 1,500 mallards, feeding a little bit lower in the basement from where we set up, but I just didn't want to be in that hole. Again, I hunt some fairly hilly terrain, and you know, it. Uh, you have to play the terrain. Sometimes you don't want to always be directly on the X. In this case, I had to back up 100 yards. But I probably saw four or 500 ducks feeding in with, uh, I know some geese, but it was hard to see in here. There's a lot of little low spots and basins, so some of these geese might have snuck out on me before I, you know, while I was checking on some other stuff. Funny story, Jeff Thompson, who's been hunting with me since probably 96 or 97, brought his pump up. I don't know, the, the thing looks like a dinosaur, beat up, old. It's, he's hunted a lot, and he's never hunted semi-automatics. They gave him trouble, and then I, I gave him a super black eagle. I, uh, Super Black Eagle 3 left hand for him to shoot today, so we'll see how he likes it. Apparently he's not a semi-automatic guy, but hopefully we can convert him on that. And we're shooting heavy hammer twos again. In case some geese come in. That's the skinny. No, no, no. no they were perfect. How many is it? Seven. Oh, right here in the decoy. Right here, Claudio. Be still, Claudio. Get him, boy. Nice. Well, then, you got to get two more out there. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just on my way in with seven. Did y'all shoot? I ducked good? in behind the blind. They just shot two more. Poof. In the hole. I kind of like this gun. Why do I see that into the microphone? <laughs> that's some pretty stuff right there. Yeah, that is pretty. That, that's. I like this the most. I mean, there's ducks in your face. I had a couple of ducks. Here comes one right now. Straight at us to the left. Oh yeah, he's coming in hot. They coming in? Oh yeah. Where are they? Y'all trying to uh, get in or no? Eleven o'clock. Straight oh, to right it. There. How many? One. Just one. Yeah. Try to get him. Drill it. Shoot. Nice shot. Shut up. That's you, Jack. Yeah. Good job. Now that mallard is probably on its way to the puddle. Just drifted right over the decoys and right over the blind. Boom. <laughs> the decoy good. They don't even circle. <laughs> they just come right in. Well, you know you got white glasses on your head, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, don't yeah, don't don't make my job any harder. Let's just you know. I'll tell you a story about a guy who's trying to make my life harder one day. Oh my gosh. We did this pothole shoot and uh older guy had MS. And he had to, we had to use a walker. We had to make a special blind for him. We were in a pothole. And uh, we're out there first thing in the morning. It was a big pond. It's the one right west of the lodge. And the ducks were just pushing off the blinds. I'm going, what is going on? Right? So I actually went out into the decoys in my waders. And I looked back to see what they were seeing. Yeah. It is headlamp on. was on blink mode. Oh, my <laughs> God. I went, oh, Oh, for the first 15 minutes, and I couldn't put my finger on it. 
get my uh, counter going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well, just got back from the truck and we have ten already. Hmm. Yeah, I guess boy. they're coming back, so that's good. I said, what, what made those ducks decide to move just early, you know? And what do you find? You don't, oh, who you knows? Maybe they are the first ones that fed this morning. They're getting hungry. It's a jerk. Oh, right there, right there! Shoot it! Oh my gosh. Oh, nice. <laughs> We were just saying, where'd these ducks come from? Let me grab them more. What do you think of that jerky, Jeff? Unbelievable <laughs> good. They're liking the jerky. He ain't cleaned out. Where'd he come from? He came from behind us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that jerky, you know, that room's worth it. Like, we're, we're, you know, it's helping us consume the geese, too, right? Because yeah, we've got... One, one right. there. Get ready. Oh, way out there. Yeah, he might try to puddle. So what about that jerky call there? Well, so, I mean, is that your first pack today or your second? Second. Okay, so there's a goose per pack. So you've eaten two geese today. And that helps you. Oh, well, man. yeah. You guys eat them. And then we're giving so move. much yeah, away. Yeah. So, I mean, if we have, you know, I mean, if, if, if we have 10 hunters eating one to two geese a day, it helps over the whole season. I, I, had, I had a whole pack of jerky in my... In so my uh, you dehydrate truck, it. that's one whole goose. That dehydrate one whole goose, yeah. Well, a small goose, not oh. a big can. A big can of the pack's hard to eat, but, but yeah. how many geese can you put in your dehydrator? Uh, well, it's you know, 15. Two. Yeah, well, I had it all written down, yeah. Uh, two and a half kilograms is about 11 and a half snow geese, I think. Yeah, so when we do 10 kilograms, that's like 45. That's a lot of. It's a lot of geese. Those are ducks, guys. Get ready. They see us. Here they come. <laughs> pull that shut. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of eyes. Just pull it shut. Pull it shut. <laughs> Left side. They're wheeling. They're wheeling over that far hill. Ah, they don't like us. Uh oh. Now they saw us. Okay. They're gonna. They're gonna whip around us. Back here. <laughs> Here they come, boys. They're on the approach. Get ready. They're hooking. They're almost over the road. Did you see them? Yep. Okay, let them come. Let them come. Let them come. Let them come. Go! Five. Five. Ain't bad shooting. Claudia, hmm. could he use that right hand yeah. in the kit? Yeah, of course. Here, Jess. Yeah, it's just everything's opposite. Yeah, I got you. And then we'll swap this one out. We can get okay. you left handed. More coming, guys. Wind is catching us a little, little on the side. That's why they're swinging around the way they're doing that. That's pretty cool, though. Oh, big flight. Holy cow. Oh, hang on. They're trying to get in. Oh, go. Oh, go, go. Low, low, low. Shoot low, low, low. You guys did it again. I did not see any of them low. Because you, you didn't look low. Yeah. You looked high. <laughs> you got three or four, didn't you? Oh, yeah. There, I saw the guns go, but no! Watch shoot low! <laughs> Kill him. Okay, I better count. Go. Thompson missed him. Fish. What about those two alive right there? You need a gun? Was it just me, or did y'all shoot high, too? I uh, know I shot medium. I didn't shoot low. I didn't kill two on that one. I got up and I started they were shooting right here on top of them. And then they you were got, in when that's a big flock, you gotta stop and pick out a duck. Well, I stopped right here and shot it, but no, they were all of them were right here. I didn't see those. Yeah, I did not. That was probably thirty. I did not. I mean, see we need that. some milers coming in. Here's a flock to the left. Okay. Yeah. They ain't gonna come in here, my Look right over us, right above your head. Yeah. Um. Happens all the time. Yeah, I'm gonna aim low. I'm gonna look oh, yeah, low. It happens all the time. Yeah. I don't want no more. You just look low because they'll be four feet off those robos and yeah. they, they couldn't have got in closer up no. there. No. Yeah. I, mean, I can move the low robos closer if you want. No. No, that's close. What we got, Claudia? Well, that was five more. 17, 18. Here we go, coming in, straight in. 21. What? It's gonna end something. quick. It'll be the Crown Royal time, real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah. yeah go. Oh, big flight coming, guys. Straight out. Still coming. Ah. Oh, yeah. Jeez, there they are. 
I'm shooting green here. <laughs> pintails coming in. Just pick, pick Drake. Pick Drake. Pintails. Let them come, guys. Let them come around. The wind's definitely shifted on us. Oh, man. They want it so bad. Just enjoy it, guys. White front, Jarrett. Let's get them to finish right in the hole. There they are, there they are, there they are. Okay, low guys, right there, right there. That's what I'm talking about, see? Tic tac toe. Great job, <laughs> And now you shoot drinks all you want. Nice. Jake. You know, when you want us to shoot them low, you don't have to walk as far. Yeah, dead on the road. Jake, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Those Drake pintails are going to be solid white front. Dude, this is a good setup, dude. Yeah. Look at the ducks coming in. Good God. If we can't them. get on a pintail Drake or yeah, greenhead, don't even shoot. Green don't even shoot. We're going to kill them. Dang, those are dropping in. Um, the more people, the more ducks normally, but it's only four, four of us. Right How many drakes in that bunch? I think you shot uh, three of the four were drakes. Oh, wow. oh my, in the decoys. Oh, oh God, get ready, get ready. Go! Get <laughs> low, low, low. Nice. That was probably a flower. Yeah, but uh, he's a year quarter shot. Well, good. At least that hand flew away. Down. Yeah, you're right. He was hovering right there. That one right there, he just picked up right there. That's a beautiful Drake right there. Beautiful. I got to count them. I got to just... Yeah, we're in the 20s now. Yeah, well, what's that? We're in the 20s now. Oh, yeah. Claudio, are you, are you sure they're going to come back? Mm. <laughs> that was sweet. We can no, kill no one more. Can ride out here. Can kill <laughs> one more. Go. Well, we're at 30 ducks. We need one more. <laughs> 30 minutes. Okay, who's going to kill this green head when it's over the robo duck? <laughs> you, oh, Let him hook in here. If you left side, let Jack shoot. Jack, it's going to be right in the center. Kill it. It's over the robo. Kill it. It's right over the robo. Right on the robo. It's on the ground. <laughs> Another one. Other one. Other one. It's flying. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> what the hell are you waiting on? I'm trying to find it. Nice shot, man. <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> Let's give it five minutes, see what happens. You can see any geese. Yeah. I mean, the goose flight could go late, right? Like, the ducks will fly early. If the goose flight goes late, we could put a thousand mallards off, right? Like, is it? Yeah, we don't want to do that. Nah, they're all ducks. They're all ducks. Yeah. <laughs> And enjoy the show. Just watch this, guys. Watch them. Just watch them come in. Just poke your head out. Take a look. Take a look. Look at this. They're in the hole. Look at this. Look at this. They're landing on the GoPros. Put them on the ground, boys. Look at this, look at this. Holy crap. Look, look at it land right on there. Oh yeah, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. It's crazy, eh? Ah, that's that's a lot of green hedge right there. Yeah, look at that. Look at big old green hedge right there. We got some fresh ducks, they're gonna try to land. Can you see them? You should be able to see them. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. to the right, the right here, right here. Okay, good, good. Oh, these are right in our face. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shot a hundred in here tonight. That's why they have limits, boys. Nope. Oh, look at this. Look at these ones. They're almost going to touch down. Oh, yeah, they're landed now. Wow. That's cool, huh? We're going to blend their chest out. Mm -hmm. That's worth it, I think. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. You think they're going to come back in here today? What's that? 
I think they're gonna come back in here today. <laughs> so could you hunt this again tomorrow or not? Uh if if we if we got out of here and they fed. Yeah. Oh, look at look at they're just coming low. They're right they're below us. They're actually below us climbing to get to the robos. Oh, there is a falcon. Is that what the falcon? That was a falcon went and just went flying through there. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> There's a falcon went ripping through there. That's crazy, huh? Hey? You ready to get out of here, Claudia? Whatever you want. Oh, when they turned on, they turned on. See, that's why I wanted to be on the feed, not on the puddle, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, these are coming down hard. They're that's crazy. Pretty. Cool. What do you think? <laughs> Something serious. <laughs> the plan work, look at it just coming low. Oh, that duck was right there. <laughs> I should text Mel that his geese are coming, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Call Mel Barr. Mel, your geese are coming. Hello. Hi, are you there? Yeah. Your, your geese are coming. Well, that's about the trick of time. We're we're long, long. We've, only, we've only had three come in, but they're all dead. Well, we've, we just saw our first flight go by on your way, and I can see the... Oh, we got a flight coming. I got to go. I'm going to kill a few of your geese, Mel. Bye. Well, don't kill my geese. I got to kill a few. Okay, bye, bye, bye. Okay. Security, <laughs> guys. Okay, no mistake. Let's get them when they come in here. You kill a few. Oh, get ready, boys. Just don't move. Don't move. Let them come. Something they didn't like. Okay, if they if they swing over, there's some low right. Oh, get right out in front. Look at this. Get ready, guys. I know they're gonna wheel. Get ready, just hang on here. Right now, now, right there, straight up. There, that's what I want. Nice and close. There you go. I got one right here. You got one on this side? And they got one right here. Dang, that was pretty. Yeah, I screwed that up. Sorry, guys. Well, they were just. They were, they were perfect for them. That's right, and I was trying to hold. And, and if they would have just kicked the right. They were centered up just perfect. And I thought they'd recorrect for the wind. And, I screwed that up. I, I could have called it, but they might not have gotten a shot. And then yeah, you wait for them. I was waiting for it to kick. But man, after this morning, we got one chance and they were gone. I was scared they wasn't going to come back. Well, that's true. But I think either way, a bunch of them were hard right. Like They were hard right. They were right on top of me. They were right on you. Not always about you, Thompson. Well, right? time, they were on top of me, but by the time you said go, they were like... Oh, I know, man. I know, because I, I, I by that, at up. that point, I realized they weren't and kicking waited, back. And, not to shoot up But the, someone uh, dusted shot, dusted the one. Shot right behind me. That was my bad. That was my bad. My bad. I, I could have called it when they were 30 yards. It would have been right there, right? Yeah. This is like on top of the world here. It's crazy. awesome. Know, it's a beautiful know, place, too, too, with the road. It's down. Well, you can't get a better spot than this. No, and see how those ducks are actually below us. Yeah. And they're climbing. That's why I didn't want to be in that hole. And you said that. Too green. Why, 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 Too Thompson? Because why? Cause you're professional. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> if I could get these other three jackasses to professionally shoot a damn green head. <laughs> well, if we'd have known we'd have had that much ducks, we'd have just sat and waited. You were Claudio today. Okay, you know, I know what I'll do. I'll maybe walk to the truck. What do you think? Hey? If you guys want to wait on a goose, you can. All right, well, here I go, walking back to the truck. There's the rig behind me there. Uh, that did not take long at all. And then uh, uh, we just sat and watched a few of the ducks decoy waiting on, on three geese. And I, you know what, I, I, they were centered up and they kicked over to the right. And I thought they were just correcting for the wind and then they got off the corner of the blind and I was just trying to make it fair for everybody. Anyways, they were right there. They ended up killing two of them. So we got all our ducks. They needed uh, 31, we shot 31 ducks and they needed three geese and we shot two geese. 
So these guys have had basically a perfect day. I'm just going to the truck. We want to get out of here, you know, let these ducks get back in here. They're just starting to come in. I mean, we, you know, we saw a few ducks, but it's, this is going to load up here in the next hour. So we're going to be out of here in about 10 or 15 minutes. I set up a little bit off the X and I'm, I'm a really big, big proponent of being on the X all the time. And you know, when you're running good equipment and you're close, I mean, the X is variable. Like I was maybe a couple hundred yards off, off the actual X where they fed last, which really is nothing. Although sometimes ducks, they, they get it in their head that they want to be there. It can be problematic. That wasn't the case today. I mean, they were, you know, they'd come up, they were actually below us, climb up, level off, and just come into those robos. It was pretty cool. So, uh, it was pretty good. Great experience. And we had, you know, Carter, he's young. I mean, he's probably 20 now. We had uh, Jack is 17. And uh, Jay, his dad, he's never been to Canada before. Jeff's been here a lot. So we got, you know, put smiles on some young guys' faces today and on a new guy. and. You know, Jeff's a veteran and always just such a treat for these guys. And I mean, they're just oohing and on the whole time, you know, and at the end we let a few ducks decoy and as we're waiting for that last goose and uh, I know Jeff said he's gonna mix me a crown and, and Sprite, although that's gonna have to wait till, uh, until we're done spotting. Then I'm gonna drop them off and I'll go spotting for the last hour yet. Well, this is kind of cool. I uh, I came to get the truck and I said, guys, just just sit there for a minute before you pack up. You might get a, a goose. Yeah, they just shot their last goose. So a perfect day for these guys. Absolutely great day. I'm happy. It's awesome. Well, that was another good hunt right there. I'll tell you what, happened fast. Uh, we got our ducks in. We're just about to pack up and, and uh, geese started flying. So really, we didn't hurt anything and we just... Ducks are still trying to get in here. We shot three geese and we're out. We'll be done before the, I think the majority of the flight even happens here. And to wrap, good day, real good day.